In this video, we're going to discuss three different methods to create title block template for different projects in Orchid Capture. As you can see on screen, we'll see how to edit this very basic title block template to create a very professional one with company logo and all other detail. This is section one. And in this section, we're going to learn how to edit existing or default template for one and multiple schematic pages. So we'll start with creating a new project. Let's name it demo one. So as you can see, as soon as our project is created, this is the default template, which is showing up on your schematic page. Let's create a couple of more schematic pages. Page two and page three. Now we're going to edit page one. So let's suppose you wanted to change the title. So you have to just double click over it and you can change it to any whatever the project title you are using. So you, in my case, it is MCU test board. And you can also change the color and font size, etc. All right, let's change the doc number to SCHA. And revision in my case, it is 0.1. All right, so here we have updated these three values. As you open page number two and page number three, it is similar to the default, whatever is created by default, right? So it is not changed here. So now I'm going to tell you how to update all the information together on each and every page of a schematic. For that, you have to select the schematic, go to edit, browse, and select title blocks. Okay. Now here you have to select all the pages. Now again, go back to edit and properties. And here you can see all the properties are of a form of spreadsheet is created. And here you can edit all the properties together. So in my case, I have to edit three things, right? So let's go back there. First is title, which is MCU test board. Now what I'll do, I'll just copy this and paste on other two blocks. All right. What are the other property I have to edit, which is related to, let's suppose revision code. So in my case, it is 0.1. I just copy it and paste it on other two blocks. Another is document number, schematic A, control C, control V, press OK. Yeah. I want to continue and overwrite all the changes. And as you can see, page one, page two, and all the pages are updated with the latest title and document number and revision number. As you can see, sheet number is still the same. Now how to update all these sheets together. For that, you have to select a schematic here and you have to go to tool, annotate, Make sure this is, this is, this should uh, uncheck. All right. Now press OK. Yes, I want to continue. Continue. And as you can see, the pages are updated now. So page number two is two of three. Total pages are three. Right. So this is how you can edit the default template. Let's move to another section. So as soon as we'll create a new project, a uh, by default template shown up on the schematic page. So in this video, we'll learn how to change it to different other templates that is provided by Cadence Capture CIS tool. So for that, make sure all the projects and everything should be closed on your Capture CIS window because whatever change we're going to do, it will not apply on existing projects. It will only apply on projects that will be newly created. So we'll start with go to options click over design template. Let's move to title block quickly. And here we'll fill all the details. So let's suppose my title is MCU test board. All right, so till here we have filled all the detail. Library, we are not going to select any library because we're going to use default one. And here select title block three. Why I'm selecting title block three that we're going to learn in next section and click OK. Now what we'll do, we'll just create new project. This will be our demo two. 
ओके एंड एज यू कैन सी नाउ दिस इज अवर टेम्पलेट विच इज काइंड ऑफ डिफरेंट फ्रॉम अवर डिफॉल्ट टेम्पलेट दिस इज अगेन आन अदर डिफॉल्ट टेम्पलेट नॉट अ कस्टम वन बट या हेयर यू कैन एड कपल ऑफ मोर डिटेल्स एज यू कैन सी This is section three, and here we're going to learn how to create our own template for title block. So we'll start with let's open the library where we have all the default title block stored. So for that, we'll click File, Open, Library, and this location is basically inside C, your C drive, Cadence, as BP seventeen point four Tools Capture and Library. When you click over that. you will get your default library which is cap sim you have to open that and here you can see you have all the title blocks available here so if you remember from the previous section i have used title block 3 so this is the one right so here they have given uh, options for organization name and its address and these are all the same information from title block 0 so this is the default title block that opens on your schematic design as soon as you create a new project let's create a new title block first so for that we'll select our library right click click over new symbol and here you have to select title block i'm just going to name it custom block zero in your case it can be different press okay now we'll see this kind of screen okay so we'll start with placing some rectangles quickly so for that we'll go to place rectangle and here you can see this is our zero and this is the location of our cursor all right so this is zero comma zero location i'm going to route a rectangle which will be 3.5 cross 1.7 so i guess this is in enough space that you can you know uh give to a title block or all the information related to project because you have to put all the design as well on on the same sheet so make sure it is not more than that now we're going to place couple of more rectangles so now next step is we have to put couple of text on these rectangles so we'll go to place text and here we'll start with company address Okay, we'll place it somewhere here. All right. We'll place firstly all the text here. Then we'll later edit it. So as you can see, I've updated all the text. Now next step is we have to put some properties, or you can say the text properties of each and every rectangle. So we'll start with company address. So our first property will be company name. All right. So I I am going to put for all the properties here, and procedure will be same. But uh, I'll tell you, few properties will be fixed, and few properties will be dynamic that we can change throughout the the schematic design. So let's start with company address. Now as you can see I have not filled couple of places for example size revision number date created sheet and logo for logo we'll just place our image here but for now let's focus on the dynamic properties of title block which will be size revision number date created and number of sheets so for size if you'll click over this arrow button here you will see some default properties okay and from here you can put what the page size 
if you'll select this page size it will be automatically updated when you'll update the page from you know uh, the custom sheet template all right so here we'll see whatever we, you want you can name it let's name it size okay value only and let's place it here similarly for revision if you'll see it's already available it will be a rev code all right and this will be our revision number let's put it here similarly for date created if you'll see you'll find all the information here so i'm just going to do it really quick All right, so here you can see I've just paid, I have uh, placed all the fixed and dynamic properties. Now let's place our logo. So for that you have to click over place button, picture, select wherever you have uh, saved the logo file. Make sure you have selected the correct extension. Just select it, open, and just drag like this. All right. Now the next step is we'll just save our file and uh, yeah, let's close everything. I just wanted to show you how these dynamic properties are going to change automatically. And uh, yeah, let's do that. So the name of this block is custom block zero. Just remember that name. All right. Okay. Now what you have to do, you have to go to options, design template, title block. Now from here you have to remove everything. So in our case, it is the default library, so we don't need to select it. But in case you are using any project specific library and created the template uh, on that, you have to select the library name here then. All right. So in our case, it is custom block zero. Okay. Now what we'll do, we'll just create a new project. Let's say it's it will be demo three okay and if i scroll down you can see all the things are updated here and here you can see page and total still not coming so these are all the properties which was kind of dynamic right so for that what you have to do you have to select your schematic go to tools annotate and just click ok make sure this do not change the page number should be unchecked yes okay as you can see it is updated now this is how you can create a custom title block template which you can use for any projects for more tutorials visit us at resources.emaeda.com and don't forget to like and subscribe our youtube channel